Well, hello, Bob Dendry here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Fresh Friday. We're playing Project Hospital. I played a hell of a lot of this game in our first lockdown here in Sydney. Um, so we're in our second now, so it is time to play some Project Hospital, of course. So let's get started. We're going to play a sandbox uh, with a large empty field, no free building, no unlocked departments and patients can die. So let's jump in there and get building our hospital. All right, here's our map. So we've got a nice large empty plot of land that we can build this hospital on. Um, now my thoughts are we'll start off with our clinic, our outpatient uh, sort of facilities, and we're going to do those in the left corner of the map. So we'll aim to have uh, quite a bit of space for GP offices, radiology, some medical laboratories, and maybe some clinic specialist offices. And from there, we'll have plenty of room for the rest of the map uh, to build our actual hospital and inpatient services. Now, before we go ahead and put down any foundations or anything like that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan out the hospital uh, with our rooms. So we can do this. Um, it doesn't cost us any money to do so, so it'll give us a good indication of how big our facilities need to be and how much room we have to work with, you know, with sort of secondary facilities like common rooms, closets, stuff like that. So let's get started with that. So to start with, I'm just going to lay down um, a whole heap of corridor. So obviously this isn't going to be corridor. This is just to get give us an idea of the sort of space we're working with. Um, so we're going to start with a 30 by 30 plot and how big do we need our doctor's offices to be minimum? So we can go with 4 by 4 but let's go 5 by 5 just to give us a little bit extra room um, so it's not as squishy in the actual offices and we'll lay down probably 5 of these to start with. In fact we may as well just lay down um, the whole of this top left wall with doctor's offices okay and so that places this um, pretty much sort of here we can place down where our main entrance is going to go let's set this up to be our reception area and then we've got room if we need to expand we can put more doctor's offices it'd be great to have planned out to start with here would be our medical laboratories as well um, so we can have our patients getting their blood tests getting all that stuff done um, right here in the clinic and what we're going to do we're going to have large probably double size of our doctor's offices for our actual laboratories um, I know you require quite a lot of equipment in there and you can also have multiple scientists working there as well so I'm thinking 5 by 10 is probably good to start with Let's get one of each as well. Perfect. And from here, we've got this this space here that we've got that um, who knows what we could actually put in here at the moment. Probably what we'll do, we'll just wall it off, and we can have some uh, restrooms in here as well as some staff facilities in this area as well. So I think it's about time that we can actually place down some uh, foundations. So we'll get that started now. Okay, and let's get our outer walls painted as well. I'm thinking just a brick building would be nice to start with. Now for doors, we're going to get uh, double sliding doors, plop them in the middle here, and have a nice open light entrance area. Now what sort of walls should we have on the interior? Let's have a look at what options we've got. So I might just lay one of each and just compare how they look. For our sort of outer walls we might run with brick with a uh, base.
And I love a bit of exposed brick as well, obviously. Who doesn't love exposed brick, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna place down a few bits and bobs. So probably just a regular colored wall is probably fine in this area. We might change color though to more of a neutral color like that. I think that works well. So I'm thinking for our entrance area, we're just gonna have white tiles. And for our laboratories, they're gonna have smaller tiles. Looks about right, doesn't it? Okay. Now, what are we gonna do here with our reception? So I have an idea. So what we'll do We'll extend this reception out a little bit further and what we're going to do here so in line with where our doctor's offices are I'm just going to place these here as some uh, some little guides what we're setting up here is a, a basically a closed off reception area so our, our patients will come in here they can talk to the people but they can't actually go around or anything like that so that's going to be for everyone's safety um who knows this might not be in the best area <laughs> and what we're going to do we're going to set up a few pcs Probably only use the one to start with, but we'll get a few in. And we'll get some office, office-y type stuff in here. Um, just because it looks cool. Okay, and let's get some lino down in our reception. And what we're going to have behind the reception area, we're going to have... Um, I'm gonna have a little corridor, just a two by one corridor. And then behind that, we're gonna set ourselves up for a janitor's closet. Perfect, and that's still um, sort of staying consistent with the five by five squares design we're going with. And what we're gonna do, we're going to um, have the corridor set as a cleaning closet as well. So that will mean this will just be a, a staff use corridor only. Um, and that will also make it so that we can't have people running into the reception area either. So we'll use half of the cleaning closet for our uh, emergency clinic. And the other half we're going to set up for our medical laboratories. It'll be sort of shared. Um, but they will both have access to it and we'll just set up some shelving on one side and the other side for each uh, department. Nice, so we've got a couple of uh, carts and shelves for each department that's good now it's time to fit out our GP offices and we're just going to make one design and we're going to copy it and paste it along any others we're using I know there's some prefabs that come with the game for this which I've previously used quite a bit but I feel like um, that's a bit lazy so I'm going to try and plan out most of this stuff myself even though it may not be quite as interesting and we're going to give them a little window as well so they can see outside.
And it's also helpful to have a chart board here. If you have a doctor that knows differential diagnosis, I believe they actually need a chart board or something similar to be able to uh, perform that differential diagnosis. So we've got our basic design we're gonna use for the rest of our GP's offices. So we're gonna get three more of those in now. Cool. Looks good. Now we actually are all good to go. Um, getting our staff hired and getting our first patients in. So we'll start off with that um, and then give it a little bit of running and then we'll start building out our uh, medical laboratories as well. Um, oh, we actually need to fit out our waiting room first as well. So we'll get a cue machine set up. So this will be an alternative to, alternative to going to the reception area and instead they can just uh, grab a ticket and once they're called on the info TV, they'll automatically go to the room they need to go to. And we just need one for the moment there. That's probably enough chairs to be uh, using to start with. Okay, so let's get our first doctors hired. So we want doctors that are good with general medicine. Um, so we've got a doctor with 11% general medicine and 15%, so we'll get those in. So they are residents. And then we have a specialist with 76% general medicine, so we'll grab them in as well. And we just need one receptionist to start with. Um, and we, so it's looking like Leon Duncan may be a good option. So um, good reception skill, I believe, helps to triage patients before they actually go into the doctors. So you'll have a little bit more information about their symptoms and such. And we also need a janitor. And we've just been chilling out at the... Uh, Medical center for half a day before we realize that, oh, hang on, you actually need a toilet <laughs> before you can get patients in. So let's just quickly fix that, get that fixed up, and then, then we will be good to go. Okay, happy days. We've got toilets now, which means people can come in. Good stuff. It means all our staff are now going to the bathroom. So, Natalie Hunter. So we've got a nice, easy one to start with. Hay fever. Get some antihistamines into you, and you'll be all good to go. Yay! I love the profit healthcare. So Teresa Chapman has just arrived. So she's actually had a chat to our receptionist first, so we already have a few symptoms that she's currently suffering from, uh, which gives us a little bit of a leg up in terms of determining the best way to treat her. And she's got bronchitis, all right. Nice easy one again. That'll be 300 bucks, thank you. But that probably leads to what potentially might be a good idea to be our next um, part of the hospital we build in this clinic area, and that is a pharmacy. Obviously we can write these prescriptions for these patients. They take that prescription, they go away, they take those drugs they've been told to take, and if all goes well, happy days, they're better. But we want a slice of that cake as well. So we're going to get our pharmacy built so we can actually sell those drugs to them as well. How about that? 
and we'll lay down a nice five by 10. Let's get a wall built here. Not a toilet wall, just a regular one. Thank you very much. That's gonna be a no, nice sort of open area. Just like a real shop. Um, and we will get glass doors. Perfect. I'm not liking how this is going, actually. What we might do instead, we might actually make it facing one way, rather than having entrances on two sides. So, let's... Let's just get rid of this. set up two counters to start with. And some shelving. Nice. And we'll just hire a single pharmacist to start with. And it's going to be one of these master scientists. I think we'll go with Kevin Barr because he's a little bit cheaper. And he is all good to help our patients by giving them drugs. So now we should see Kimberly's um, being diagnosed with bronchitis. Docs said she should be taking antibiotics, analgesics and antipyretics. And rather than leaving all happy and good, she's going to go into the pharmacist, have a chat to our good pharmacy dude and he's gonna get those three things for her and we can make a bit extra cash. Because that is what medicine is and should be about, making as much money from your patients as possible, obviously. So that'll be 90 bucks, baby. Alrighty, so that's our first day all done and dusted here. So we served, I think, three or four patients Good jobs. We got our pharmacy up and running. Fantastic. So what we're going to do overnight, we're going to get our laboratories built and then we can potentially look at planning for a radiology clinic as well. Okay, so while our staff are home for the day, let's get our medical laboratories built. Probably want tiled walls as well. Okay, so first we got our hematology lab. Uh, let's get some desks in first off. We'll just get two here to start with. Um, obviously we can upgrade further should we need to a little bit further down the line. Perfect, so we've got a nice, simple hematology lab to start with. Next, we're off to the microbiology lab. And we're gonna set it up more or less the same. In fact, we don't need two desks. So we have different stuff to work with here. A fume hood. Move this little thing over here. And finally, we have the histology lab. We'll set this one up a little bit different. 
just for fun. Nice. So we've got our medical labs all ready to go. So we will fast forward to the morning and get some more patients in. Oh, come on. I just spent all this money on the hospital. You can't do that to me now. Oh. Great. All right, it's the beginning of another lovely day. We're all good to go with our laboratories. Hopefully those bad news stories about us don't affect us too much. Fingers crossed. Ooh, so our first patient we can't diagnose with our current capabilities. So this guy, we're not sure if he's got a bruise or a fracture, um, but we should be able to assign him to our specialist and get the differential diagnosis done, I would say. Yeah, so let's get our um, specialist to take a look, and that will allow us to get past that. But we probably do need to look at getting some radiology done today or tomorrow to, um, to help alleviate that pressure on our specialist. There we go, so we got our differential diagnosis done, and as it turns out, it's a bruise. Happy days. Uh-oh. Oh, it's only shingles. All good. No COVID here. Oh, no. Even our specialists can't decide what's wrong with Judy. All right. We might have to do it. We're going to have to build our second floor and get some radiology rooms up there. But we don't have a lot of money right now, so let's see what we can get in terms of a loan. 60000 should be enough. Okay, so I'm thinking what we're going to do, let's pull out these walls here. Let's do some bit of planning. Okay, and we'll have sliding doors here so they will go out and can be used as a connection to our actual inpatient services but we will get it changed back to brick as well okay so we need to build some elevators then and here is probably a good place for an elevator and um, we'll have one at the moment because they are a little bit expensive but we'll be able to put a second one here as well once we're up to that point. What we're going to do, I think we actually will copy our tiles and walls. Um, so we've got sort of something to start with. All right, so let's plan out our radiology department then. We'll have this bit set up as our waiting room again. And get an x-ray room. Uh, probably CT and MRI. And let's get the x-ray room fitted out to start with here. So obviously when you're in the x-ray room, uh, your radiographer isn't going to be where the x-rays are. They're going to have a little little secure area that they can be in. Cool, so we've got a nice little x-ray room to start off with. So you're getting like called in or anything so she's just like walked straight into the x-ray room got on the desk and stripped down and i applaud the assertiveness there like i'm coming in now bloody x-ray me okay so judy 
She went and had her x-ray, we built the x-ray room for her, and as it turns out, it's a bruise. So now I'm contusion. Thank you very much for your money. Go buy some stuff from the pharmacy, you'll be fine. Well, day two was a quiet day for the clinic, no thanks to that lousy tabloid article but we will be bouncing back and good to go tomorrow. But I think that is just about it for Project Hospital for this video. If you've enjoyed it and if you want to see more, please let me know. Um, once again, Project Hospital is another one of those games that I have a lot of fun with. So if you want to see this hospital grow, if you want to see uh, inpatient facilities, let me know and I'm happy to record more of it. Um, but for the moment, if you've enjoyed this one, please make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. Thank you so much for watching, it helps out a lot, and until the next video, goodbye.